Hello vinyl community and anyone else watching this I am back with another video this time it's a thrift store finds video once again my two videos one vid two videos before this was a thrift store finds video but this goes back a couple of weeks and it's nothing like um, <laughs> the, the, the most recent thrift store finds video I did before this um, but my most popular videos and the ones I get the nicest comments on and all of that kind of thing are thrift store finds videos and people have been missing them and I haven't been doing them because I just don't find anything so I, I did find a, a quite a big stack of records but there's nothing spectacular in here and this is for from I don't know a month worth of going or more something like that and again nothing spectacular but there are some interesting things in here so I just thought I would show th some thrift store albums since I haven't done that in quite a long time so here we go we're gonna start out with um, some of the Garfunkel the graduate soundtrack you know, nice thing to find at a thrift store for 20. Again, these were all 29 cents. Some, actually this was 50 cents. A few of these were 50 cents because I did go to a different thrift store. They're both Salvation Armies, but one, the records are 50 cents. Um, and it's not usually as good and whatever. But this is a soundtrack to um, The Graduate, Simon and Garfunkel. It's on Columbia, the uh, soundtrack label, the gray. The Great Columbia soundtrack label in stereo. Um, Simon Garfunkel. Linda Ronstadt, Heart Like a Wheel, still in shrink. So I picked it up. That's the main reason I picked it up. Still in shrink. Nice copy. Not an original press at all. In fact, it's on the um, purple. I can't see anything on the purple capital label so a much later pressing maybe the last pressing before you know they quit making records but still okay this isn't in great shape but for this was 29 cents um but for 29 cents i picked it up eric clapton the history of eric clapton i have a better copy than this but I picked it up. It's 29 cents. You know, it's not like you see this album constantly. So, um, interesting stuff on here. It's on the uh, Adco label. I'm not even going to bother trying to straighten that out. You guys know it. No big deal. But for 29 cents, picked it up. I love these things. I collect these things as much as I possibly can. Super Hit 7. This one's on Pickwick. These are on all kinds of labels. It's no-name artists doing hits of the day. Most of the time, they're pretty terrible. This one's actually pretty good. This one is surprisingly good, which doesn't ne isn't necessarily a good thing. Um, I'm trying to think what what join together. The Who song. These guys do a really good job on it. <laughs> and who is it this time? Um, played in some, is it King? Oh, it's King's Road and somebody else this time. So you don't know who it is. There's, it's a possibility of two groups. <laughs> anyway, on, on the Pickwick label. Everybody knows the Pickwick label. The silver Pickwick label. And, um... But I love these things. I have a whole collection of them. I pick them up whenever I see them because they're terrible. Paul Revere and the Raiders in the beginning. You don't see this much anymore. You see this all the time. Not in amazing shape, but it's playable. It's decent enough. This is on Jordan Records. Anybody know Jordan Records? The Sonics were on Jordan Records. And uh, an original copy got some discoloration on the label but uh, yeah very happy to have found that that's one of the better records in this haul um, this was a buck because it's a two record set and the one store charges per album but 
The Father Jumps, Earl Hines and his orchestra, some jazz, some big band swing, early stuff. Um, Louis Armstrong, Louis Primo, a lot of people were influenced by Father Earl Hines. So I'm, and I'm Bluebird, which is the label you want it to be on. So, you know, two records. Uh, I have not given this a spin yet, but I really want to. You gotta love the Bluebird label. So, this was a cool one, and this is in really nice shape. I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't. Yeah, not in great shape, but James Gang, Joe Walsh, of course, James Gang, live in concert. Again, not minty, but it's playable. It's at least VG. Um, on ABC, an original copy. So I picked that up. Why not? The only album by this man I would ever consider picking up. Another Time, Another Place by Engelbert Humperdinck. Why did I pick this up? Because Another Time and Another Place is the only song I think is good by Engelbert Humperdinck. He has one good song. It's on this album. The 45 is Styrene. I have the 45. I would have just stuck with the Styrene 45, but it's Styrene. So I picked up the album. It's in really nice shape. Still in shrink. So picked it up. It's on, of course. The Parrot label, him and Tom Jones kept Parrot going. Um, but anyway, if you don't know the song Another Time, Another Place, it's actually really good. I think it's the best thing he ever even thought of doing. <laughs> June Christie recalls those Kenton days when she played with Stan Kenton. And a um, picture of her superimposed over Stan Kenton on the back. This is an early, if not original, Capitol record. It's on the Rainbow label. And um, I love June Christie's voice. She just has a, a fantastic voice. And this, this cover is in such nice shape. That This is another one. I paid 50 cents for this. And the Engelbert as well. I think the James Gang too. Um, but I wasn't leaving that there. And... I like the Harmonicats, this is Jerry Murad and his Harmonicats, but I bought two albums mainly because I just fell in love with the covers. I mean, this is called The Cat's Meow. I mean, seriously, who wouldn't pick this album up? Seriously. <laughs> Look at this cover. This is insane. <laughs> Here's the back cover, and the cover is in really nice condition. And, uh, it's on Mercury Records. Not that anybody cares, but, um, you know, I didn't buy this. This might go up. This is a possibility to go up on in my living room at some point in time. I mean, this is just a fantastic cover. <laughs> and the next one isn't as good, but I still, I still bought it for the cover because, come on. <laughs> if this doesn't to know a certain time or place and place you know I mean just there's Jerry and the guys and uh, there's the track listing same label same everything Jerry Murad and his Harmonicats another jazz record paid a buck for this one Revelations Coleman Hawkins it's sort of a greatest hits on uh, ABC Impulse Records um, I buy jazz. I put it on in the background once in a while. I'm not a big jazz guy, but when I see something like this, again, double, really nice shape, I pick it up. Why not? Original Inners. I won't show the label, but it's the ABC Impulse. Original Inner Sleeves, ABC Dunhill, you know, that whole group. So, you know, cool to have. Stick it, Buddy Rich. Um, again, jazz, but this time he's trying to, this is a guy trying to, middle-aged guy trying to be who, cool kind of thing. And I bought it because he, he does something and Uncle Albert Admiral Halsey on here. <laughs> so I had to, I had to check those out. Buddy Rich. 
These I bought just because the covers were nice. The records are okay, but you want these records mint if you're actually going to play them. But, um, again, thoughts of framing. Primitivo, the exotic sounds of Martin Denny. I think this might be the best of the Martin Denny covers. I mean, his covers, a lot of people buy his records just for the covers. And, uh, yeah, it's a great cover. And there was, I could have bought a whole Martin Denny collection. It was almost everything. But none of the records were anything like minty. So I bought the three best covers that I didn't have. This is Aphrodisia by the Martin Denny Orchestra. And they're all on um, Liberty Records. I haven't shown the labels, but they're all going to be the same. The, uh, it's probably too dark to see, but that dark green of Liberty label. And Exotic Percussion by Martin Denny. Again, there was a lot more I could have bought, but yeah, I don't need them. But I might, these could, are all candidates for framing. Is why I bought them. And the covers aren't even in very good shape, really. Like this one's got serious seam splits at the bottom. But framed, they'll look very nice. So, why not? This I bought just because it's cool and I collect test records. This is Project 3 stereo test record. I've never seen Project 3's stereo, stereo test record. In fact, there's a Project 3 record playing right now. Um, and, um, you know, the sound quality on Project 3 stuff is always fantastic. And this was Enoch Light's third label. He, third and last label, I think. There's the, the label. Very cool label. Um, so I love test records. I buy every test record I see. And we're still going here. It's the reason I bought this, and it's not this, but this is Stereo Cornet, Tommy Dorsey and his orchestra featuring Frank Sinatra. Okay? You know, I mean, I would have left this behind, except it's too heavy. There's an extra record in here, and the extra record happens to be a pretty nice copy of Frank Sinatra's uh, Songs for Swingin' Lovers. Um, an, an original black label capital copy. And um, since that was in there too, I spent my 29 cents and I bought it. Um, just to have it. I have a, a copy of the album, but this might be better. I'm not sure. It might be an upgrade. But anyway, I, that's why I bought it. Because... That's my favorite Sinatra album. And there it is inside there. This I bought just because it was interesting. Mary Martin sings and Mary swings. And she's singing Disney songs. Mary Martin played Pinocchio, by the way, <laughs> among other things. And this is a UK album. This is from the UK. And, um... It's on Disneyland Records. I don't know if you can see this. And out of the UK. Which you don't see that very often. So. Cool. Um, and my turntable is just playing the same thing over and over again. If you watch my last video, apparently it doesn't play all rec all albums either. That's what it does. It, it doesn't go long enough on the play out. So we're gonna start this again. And um, nice unit, except for that. Okay, where was I? Steve Warrens and Edie Gourmet are best to you. I like Steve and Edie. I buy their stuff when I see it cheap and it's in nice shape. This one's on ABC Paramount, 15 tracks on it too. ABC Paramount was one of the few record labels <laughs> to give you your money's worth in, um, in America. And it isn't stereo as it says loudly and proudly on the label. I'm missing a light, by the way. Um, 
So if it's slightly dark in here, I apologize. I am down a light. I always pick up the Swingle Singers when I see them too. Going Baroque. These guys were a vocal band that did classical music. So it's like the Ray Khan of singers doing classical. Mostly going dum 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 dum, that kind of thing. And they're, and they're interesting and they're cool records. Um, they're on Phillips. This one is an import from the UK, I think, but it could be Germany. I'm too blind to see it. But I don't know where it's from. Oh, Canada! Aha! I knew it was an import. This is a Canadian LP. Java, Cotton Candy, Sugar Lips, Al Hurt Gold, and Al Hurt Greatest Hits collection. He has quite a few. I'm a big Al Hurt fan, and I see him in decent condition for 29 cents. I'll pick him up. There's Al. <laughs> and uh, he was... Well, this guy, I'll say he's always on, um, what, a and I can't remember. This one's on GWP Records, which might be why I picked it up. Interesting. Getting down there. This, again, I bought this for the cover. This is a two-record set, too. Mellow Moods for the 70s, The Living Strings. Now, <laughs> if that doesn't scream a certain time and a certain place, I don't know what does. <laughs> and, uh, ooh, it's on RCA. Two record set of very, very mellow stuff. Getting down there, a couple left. Bing Crosby, When Irish Eyes Are Smiling. I like Bing Crosby. Um, you know, he was Irish. He loved doing Irish songs. And this is still in shrink, so I went ahead and grabbed it just because it was in really nice shape. Um, I mean, it's a much later pressing. It's on the rainbow. MCA. Somebody spent $3.98 for this at JCPenney. Remember when they had a record collection? I think I have this, but this cover might be better. The album might be better. It might be an upgrade. I don't know. But this is the Champs with um, the Fabulous Cyclones, whoever they are. This is one of these, you know, Coronet or something. One of these labels that uh, just took early hits by bands and filled it out with other stuff. Okay, this is Spectrum Records. Um, but, you know, it's got too much tequila on it. And I have a copy of this, but I wasn't going to let this sit there. I don't know if this is an upgrade or not, but there's two albums by this man. Buy them if you see them, and I'm not kidding. Mel Torme. This is Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head. Actually, there's three albums. One is right now, and I forget what the other one's called. But there are albums where he does a lot of covers. And his covers are cheesy fantastic. About as cheesy fantastic as you can get. Um, so I do not let this go for 29 cents. I've actually paid real money for mine. It's on the Green, Green Capital Records label. The one I saw, and I was so psyched. In fact, I think I found two of them in the same day, the same place. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Good record, I'm not kidding you. Um, his version of Sunshine Superman and Spinning Wheel, but especially Sunshine... Oh, and Take a Letter Maria. Oh my god. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. And last but not least... Dancing the Big Twist, Ray Bryant and his combo. Now this cover has seen better days, but um, I do like Ray Bryant and his combo. He's the guy that did the Madison Time. Just fantastic stuff. So put out a Twist album for 29 cents. I'll see if there's anything, at least putting out a podcast. Um, Columbia Six Eye label, why not? So there you go, that's it. That's my thrift store finds. 
Told you it wasn't anything fantastic, but um, interesting finds. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. Hope everybody out there is doing well. Check out my podcast, snapcracklepop.podomatic.com, the Snap, Crackle, and Pop Vinyl Hour. And um, I'm still making videos. I'm trying. So um, stay tuned. I may even have a little advice in the next video. You'll have to come back and find out. Till then, um, take care, everybody. Bye.